Hi and welcome to this video demonstration for drawing a basic kitchen in KD Max. To start our kitchen, we're going to select a rectangle room at 6 meters by 4 meters. Next, we're going to add a window on the north wall. Firstly, specifying the measurements on the left hand side menu and then placing it on the wall 850 from the right hand side. Next, we will add a double door to the room layout, placing it on the opposite wall. We are now going to add in a ceiling by clicking on Auto Ceiling. Clicking inside the room and then specifying the elevation at 2400. Next, we add some down lights by selecting the linear light. This enables us to draw a line across the ceiling and then place the lights along that line. Once we are happy with the room layout, select the 3D design button on the top menu and this will start taking us through to our room. We are now prompted with our global style settings. In here, we set the properties of our room. Firstly, we select the profile and color of our door. Here we select a straight panel in a white color. Next, we select a handle to place on our units. And then duplicating that through the various types of doors. After that is our worktop section. First, we select the front edge style, set the thickness of the bench top, and then finally set the overhang for the front and side of the worktop. Next we set our plinth or our kicker style and height. This is the height our base units will sit on in the drawing. Next we set our material colors. Here we have set the worktop material to a dark color. And finally we set our elevation measurement for our wall units. Once we have specified all of our properties, click OK and we'll be brought into the room. Now that we are in the room, we can click and drag to navigate around the room and we can also start to add some products. So what we will do here is get a corner base unit, specify our dimensions and place that in the corner of the room. The products menu is found under start and then products list. Next we get an electrical base unit for an oven to go in. Again we are specifying our dimensions and placing that next to the corner unit. You can see that when the unit is against the other as it comes up with a blue outline. Next we will add a drawer base unit to place beside the oven. Beside the drawer base unit, we will place a pantry unit. And then from there, we'll go on to place a wall unit for a fridge space. And finally, along that wall we will place a filler to span the remainder of the gap. We 
Moving on to the other wall, we will place another draw unit at 450 wide this time. And then continue with a two door unit for our sink. Next to our sink unit, we are going to create a void space for our dishwasher. To do this, we will place two end panels with a unit in between at 600mm wide. Once we have placed our bench top, we will delete that unit as it is just a placeholder. Now we will finish off adding units by placing a 4 draw unit at the end. So as you can see we have drawn a basic L-shaped kitchen. Now we can start to add our electrical components as well as sinks and other decorative pieces. Firstly adding a stove top to the oven unit. This will bring up a menu showing where the stove is going to be installed. You can specify exactly where it is installed in this menu. Next we will place a range hood based on the location of the stove. And then stretch the extractor to fit the ceiling height. Next we will place a sink in our two door unit under the window. So firstly select the desired sink then select the tap to install as well and then finally click on the unit the sink needs to be installed in. Another pop up will be brought up, again specifying the location of the sink in relation to the unit. Here we wish to offset the sink over the dishwasher, so we have to specify the setting at 150 to the right. Next, the installed mode menu will show allowing you to select what type of install is required. Here the wing of the sink is on the opposite side, so we can change that simply by mirroring the sink. Now we will add our dishwasher. Firstly by placing it in the room and then using the align function, we can bring it into the correct position based on our end panel location. We are yet to fill our oven space, so now we will select an oven for use. Firstly select the panel above where the oven will go and then the drawer below. This automatically sizes the oven based on the panel selected. Next we install our plinth. We can do this automatically and this will apply our kickboards to all of our base units and tall units in the drawing. Now we're going to paint our carcass on the tall unit and base unit instead of needing end panels. Finally, we can add a fridge to complete our drawing.
press spacebar to rotate the fridge and then place it in the required location. Now we're ready to begin the rendering process.